Right, welcome back ladies and gentlemen to where we left off. Um, if you remember, we've got a wolf that keeps uh, running up the street outside every time we try to leave this house. So, I'm just thinking, a slight change of plans from what I was thinking in the last episode. We're sev severely overburdened. Um, we can't make a fire here to cook anything. We've got more water than we know what to do with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to the bedroom because we've got about two hours of daylight left. One of the first things I'm going to do in the bedroom is I'm going to get that curtain off the window. Preserve as much daylight as we can. Um, I'm going to stand next to the bed and we're going to sort our clothing out. We've got lots and lots of bits of clothing here. So we want... We want to wear those work trousers. We want them on the outside. Um, we want to swap over these. Um, oh. Yeah, if we drop them ones. Pick them up. Go back to the, the clothing menu and swap them so that the good ones are on the inside. And then we put those ones on the outside. We're wearing two pairs of wool socks. We want the Mountaineer's socks on the outside. Th this pair of boots is at 53%. This pair of boots is at 85%, so we'll use them once. We have no further outer clothing. Uh, the wind chill benefit on them is 0.5 degrees, but they're at half health. On them it's at 0.3 degrees. Those are the best gloves that we've got, and we've got the, the two best toques. Right, so... What we're going to do is we're going to repair these trousers and we have to use that fishing thing that we so had. Hungry in my life. That's 53%. Repair them again. 83% and I'm going to repair them again. Still at 83%. Can't repair in the dark. That's fair enough. Okay. But we got them back to a, a reasonable condition. We'll finish them off in the morning. Now, it's after dark, obviously, because it's telling us it's too dark to do anything. We don't have light. I don't want to use the lamp. Let's uh, eat. Let's just check first. Yes, we need to eat and we need to drink. So... I'm thinking this, this packet of jerky is the lowest condition, but it's also very light. Uh, however, it'll give us 350 calories that will get us through till dawn, so we'll use that. And we'll drink, drink some of that water. This is slowly reducing our weight. Weight carried, that is. Right. Um, we're almost tired enough to get a full night's sleep. Let's just pass time for two hours. I need to find a place to rest. Now we can sleep for eight hours, but we need to have something to eat and something to drink before we do. So. Let's go back. We want something that's going to keep us going till morning. I think that's the that candy bar. 300 calories should do it. Right, and a drink. And now 
we'll put in for an eight hour sleep. When we wake up, it should be light. Not quite light, but we are hungry. It's just after dawn. So... Never thought I'd be dying from starvation. We need something to eat. Six hundred calories. I really don't want to use these crackers because six hundred calories for point one of a kilo is an incredible uh, bonus. So, thinking we want to drop weight. And I'm thinking we're going to have to go with the dog food. he's hungry because we haven't filled his belly um, how much like while daylight's starting to creep in I can actually see the bed now and I can see my way back downstairs It's first thing in the morning. I can't put that in my hand, which is what I wanted to do. So that I just instantly drop it. So we're going to have to be very, very responsive to a wolf turning up. He's not. Oh, there he is. We want to get up to the next houses. Let's watch, see what he's doing. He's not coming towards us this time. Okay, let's just check this mailbox. We'll take that. With a heavy laden. What I think we're going to have to do is we're going to have to zoot up to the big house, set that up as a base, and then come back and do our remaining searching and stuff down here, once we've lost a lot of the weight that we're carrying. is weaponizable tools so hunting knives hatchets that sort of stuff some old man's beard there there's a toolkit there that we'll have to search just as soon as we've got rid of some of this weight get through that fence carrying so much weight we're not nimble enough to get through that gap in the fence Stacking up where? Uh, she's got a six burner range in here, and there's a cooking pot. Making water. That's excellent. Anything on the worktops? No. There's a cardboard box. So we're not going to be able to make much use of the shelves. Oh. tells me that we're going to have to use the tables to put things on. Cotton scarf, 
got a pail that we can cut up and a chair there we can break down. Right, so let's get our foods, our tinned foods and stuff stacked up on the table. So drop, drop those two. Get them up. are in good condition so this bit's just a little bit tedious it takes time to do but you soon get used to it It's actually pretty essential to helping you manage your survival. Considering how little of this map that we've um, um, explored, we've actually done very, very well. Right, we've got two tins of beans, one of which is in not good condition. the right one at the back. Just check. Have to check this one. Yeah, that's the worst condition one. So I'm gonna put that right at the front. And then we've got only got the one tin of tomato soup. Placeholder. Right. Then we've got these four cans of soda that are all in very good condition. And then these two cans. more of these. So I'm going to make two rows. I'm going to have to step forward a bit just to see what I'm doing. that chair up shortly as well. Right. That's the sodas. Right. Now we've got two boxes of crackers. They're not in great condition. But they do keep quite a while. And which one's the best condition? That one's the best condition. anything right now. Yeah, we know you could. You always can. Uh, right. So, now we drop the snackables. We keep those two bad condition ones on us. We'll drop this one. It's in good condition. That's passable condition. These two are in good condition. things about the game. If, you, if you're not absolutely square when you pick it up, it comes a pain to get it square. Because you need to save the space.
of this, of course, is without actually searching this house yet. It's almost like there's a grid on the table and you can't get them as close together as you'd like. What condition's that in? I'll be hungry later. That's a 74% condition piece. That can go on the table. We don't want to be carrying the good condition stuff because they get beaten up while you're carrying them in your pocket or in your pack. Right, so in terms of today's game day, or in game day, what we're going to be doing is setting this place up as our base. Um, search the fridge. Empty. Search the freezer. Empty. I think we can search the stove. Oh, there's a tinder plug. There's a recycled can. I'm going to leave it on there for now. I think we. Tin of beans. Nope. Nothing down in there, no. Check the wall cupboards. I didn't realise we had so many wall cupboards. Oh, a pack of tea, excellent. Need coffee now as well. No tins up there, is it? Right, if I realised we had so many wall cupboards, I wouldn't have spent so much time putting them on the table. Um, but what I will do is that tin of beans I'll drop. more space on the table. Right, have we got anything in tools that we can drop? Yeah, we yes. We want to drop that. We want to drop that. Uh, the lantern we want to drop. And we have got a bedroll. We didn't find one, but we've got one. Right, so let's have a look. This bag is getting too heavy to carry. Oh, be quiet, Mark. Right, so we'll put them on there. Put the flashlight on this end of the table. The lantern. I can barely there. walk with this much gear. Put the lantern up there with it. What have we got in the fire arena? We've got a lot of books and stuff, right? So let's get rid of all the burnables. Um, we'll create a wood pile over here beside the fridge. So I'll drop them there. Get rid of them, that's four kilos. Oh, we can get in there. Right, so if we drop the fur there. Um, we drop the books here. That's a lot of 
kilos that we're losing already. Um, this is going to be all our kitchen fuel. Uh, we'll drop all the papers here because we want to get out and get exploring again. somewhere for the sticks. Uh, if we just drop the sticks in front of the, the fridge. Right, so we've set oops. Oh, it's a cup. Right, so we've searched this room. We've started setting up in here. Are those cupboards above the cooler? They are, but they're not searchable. That's okay. So we found a cooking pot. We can make water two liters at a time now, which is good. Speaking of which, we're carrying far too much water. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop four liters. And that will let me put them up here. bit of meat and eat it get it out of the way tools wise you see we were using this um, fishing kit by the way to do the repairs on the clothes uh, we've got two bits of scrap metal oh we don't want to be carrying them around and we want them to be somewhere that that we can easily get them for doing any work with um, I think what we'll do is we'll just drop the start collecting all the scrap mat all there because there's a work workbench or two in this village that we can um, make use of right so we've got a decent pair of trail boots I hope that'll come in handy uh, 40 percent what we'll do all the spare boots we'll put across here point we're going to repair all these boots. Well, not all of them, but a good chunk of them. Right, so trail boots. Right now, what we want to do is we want to get our tools and stuff sorted out. So that means we're going to have to get out and get exploring. driving gloves are absolutely useless so are these um, ragged cotton toques so action harvest get the cloth off it right, what we'll do is we'll go and get that piece of meat cooking so I'm going to use those this fire going. Come on. That's a full group of matches. There's the one we were using. We'll get this fire going. We'll get that piece of meat cooked. We'll get some more water made. We can leave it in the, the pot um, to do its thing.
Well, that didn't work. Okay, what that means is we're going to have to take the charcoal out. in there, do a half liter in there, and drop that piece of meat, and then put it on there, that's going to cook in one hour fifteen, I'm right, going to need to put some more wood in the fire, might be able to do it with sticks, thinking three sticks should cover it. We need about two hours on the fire. That might do it. Right, so while I'm waiting for that first can to melt, let's harvest that for cloth. leather for repairing shoes and certain types of gloves. And these gloves are absolutely useless in this winter weather, so we might as well harvest them. Um, these sports socks are pretty much useless as well, so let's harvest those. It's at 87%. That water's got an hour and five until boiled. There's only 36 minutes on the fire. It's 49 minutes on the fire, an hour and two. Damn it. Could have done with a couple more sticks. We'll have to use one of these books. An hour until boiled. Excellent. Right, let's have a look. There's a few of these things. Oh, well, we can harvest those. Right, while 
we're waiting for that water. That water is not going to boil off because the fire's only got four minutes more than the water actually needs to to boil. Um, now, what we're going to be doing down here primarily is first of all clearing up. Curtains here that we can recover. Cloth. Break that down. Want to get that chair standing up again? We'll probably have to smash it up. There's another cooking pot, and there's two cooking spaces here. But I would rather have this on the cooker. Almost anything. This needs to be now. dropped somewhere that we know we can drop stuff. So if we drop the cedar there, drop the fur at the back, and another bundle of papers that we can drop here. We've got another book that we can drop over here. we can smack down that comfy chair get cloth from it don't think there's anything else out here anything on the fireplace I don't see anything that chair's got to go it's going to irritate the hell out of me sitting there like that keep banging my legs on it right so now we search the upstairs nothing there nothing down the side of it Cloth. Break that down. It's starting to get dark. There's a room here we didn't search. Isn't there? This will probably become our bedroom. Let's check. There's nothing under the bed. There's not. We are dehydrating and we'll lose condition if we don't fix it. not going to take the curtains just yet. I'm going to leave those as emergency cloth supplies in this house because we're using this one as a base. I need anything right about now. There, that's good. Good find. Another candy bar. box, break it down, just tidy the floor up, the bathroom, another bandage, excellent, towel, I'll break that down, only really interested in leaving the curtains up to be honest with you, oh another pair of wool long johns, that's a fantastic find. These shower curtains can't be broken down. Leave the water in the toilet, it's a good emergency supply. We'll look in this room. These crates we can break up. I could use this. Kit. Magnifying glass, excellent find. There's cardboard boxes we can break up. More cardboard boxes, there's a cloth there. Break that one down. That reveals rifle ammunition. Ooh. That means there might be a rifle on this map. I think I can use this. Accelerant, cardboard box, stacks of papers. 
lots of stuff we can smash up in here. Loads and loads of papers. We'll leave them up here rather than take them downstairs. We'll leave that until we need them. Now, is there anything behind this cardboard box? No, unfortunately. I'm so hungry. Once we get everything in there smashed up, we might find lots of goodies. Right, starting here. Might be a pillow on it that will reveal itself once we break the chair up. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Ooh, a decent military coat and some new trail boots. Wool socks. Another flare. Excellent. Getting some really good stuff here. Shirt. That's empty. Nothing to weaponize though. That's the bathroom, isn't it? Right, so we've done up here. We've got a few things to break down in here for tinder and wood, etc. That might reveal a few more things when we break them down. got odd curtains dotted around. There's a pair of, well, there's four curtains in there. Can't help feeling there should be something there. So we've got four curtains in there to break down. We've got one in there. Um, doesn't look like there's one on that rail at all. Three curtains in here. There's no cloth on that radiator. I thought there might have been. Okay, so and we've got lots of curtains down here, and these are big curtains. These are probably three cloth instead of two. They are, which is excellent news. So let's have a think. We've got one big cupboard there, which I think I'll use that for the likes of crafting materials and stuff. So that includes cloth. We don't need to be carrying six kilos of cloth. So let's move 50 of that into there. It would have been easier to move it all and then bring nine back, wouldn't it? Transfer all of that into there. Cured leather. For now, we'll hold on to that because we want to fix our boots up. Um, we don't. We're not going to need charcoal. We don't need to carry all these tins either. We're going to get tins everywhere that we go, so we're going to want to end up dropping them. Um, I'm going to move two flares into there for now, out of the way. We don't need these flare shells. Got nothing to use them with. I'm going to move that sewing kit into there. I want to be making fishing tackle and using that and saving up these sewing kits. Food don't go in there. We've got all this lot to work out what we're keeping and what we're not. And we need to get them repaired up. So, uh, one of the things we don't need to carry around with us in Milton is the sleeping bag. So, this is probably, once we get that chair broken up and smashed up, this is probably where we're going to be doing most of the, the curing of different things. We may end up doing the same to that table and that, um, that chair and that broom just to, and use this area for curing all the skins and guts and stuff. Now we did find another set of boots, didn't we? Um, where are they? There they are. And they're good ones, they're 98%. So we'll drop them and 
because these are the good ones, we'll put the ones we're keeping and are repaired under that stand. Um, the work boots we're going to need to repair. Those trail boots are ragged. Those trail boots are as good as new. We need to sort out all this clothing that we're carrying. We're carrying way too much in clothing. I think for now what I might do is just end up dropping it all over here. Um, we work out what we're going to keep. They're just cotton scarves. We'll harvest them. have a reasonable waterproofness factor, especially considering it's only 40%. It'll probably go up to about 40% once it's uh, done. Compare that to, say, one of the toques. Which one's? That one's in the best condition. That cowl is actually better than the toque for waterproofing. 6.4 No, the toque is better However, I'm not going to scrap that one I want to keep that one and we'll fix that up when we get time Red mitts are not really great once you've got blue mitts so we'll harvest that Spare trousers, we always spare trousers and underwear. We always hang on to. Um, until we've got multiples, so I think what we need to do is we need to decide where we're going to keep these clothes and start putting them away. guess we could use this room. The alternative oops. The alternative is to use this room which just doesn't have the storage. Well it does actually. It's got one, two, three, four, five usable drawers plus the chest. And that big wardrobe in the other room and the other rooms at the top of the stairs is actually much better. Let's have a look. Right. Put that in there. Put that in there. We're probably going to wear that r decent military coat. Put that rugged shirt in there for now. That's a better one than we are wearing. So we'll swap them over in a minute. That's a better one than we're wearing. We lose a quarter kilo if we swap to the wool long johns. And I'd rather keep a spare set of wool ones. Um, move them into there. We're going to be wearing the mountain socks, aren't we? We are wearing the mountain socks. So we put the, the wool socks in there. We're going to have to spend a day doing some repairs on what we're wearing. So let's just go back a minute. Win inventory, go to clothing. First things first, we want to swap this over for the good one. And this, we want to swap for the good one. In here, we want to wear the military coat. Until we can get a better coat. cabinet. Move in those worn clothes. That's it. 14, one, four, 14 slots filled. 
means that we've got everything except the headwear accessories. We'll sort these out, we'll get these all repaired up to 100% before we worry about repairing these. However, we need to go out and we need to find a few more things first. Right, we need to eat. Food is all downstairs. We don't need to eat hot food. What we need is just something that's going to see us through the night. And I think we agreed that banged up pork and beans needs eaten 38%. It probably does need cooked. Um, I'm going to risk it cold. We need to start getting some animal meat as well. Right, so we've got two litres of boiled water there. We've got four litres on the table over there. We've got as many of these recycled tins as you could ask for. Because we've now got a bunch of them here. What I'll do is I'm going to drop these 89% ones. Keep the two 83% ones on us. start doing once we get a bit more organized we'll take these recycled cans and we'll leave them in strategic positions for cooking even though we'll always have two on us it's always good to have spares dotted around right now I noticed as well we've got a couple of things in the backpack that we want to get rid want to leave behind want to leave this ammunition behind for example um, we don't want to be carrying the charcoal. We're down to 17 kilos, which includes our clothes, which is good. This this is a very, very good weight. Normally, I'm running around at about 24 kilos carried. Um, we don't need to carry all of this first aid stuff. And what I usually do is I usually have a kitchen cupboard that I use for first aid stuff. And in fact, all of that food's going to end up in a kitchen cupboard. And I usually have the first cupboard next to the cooker for fire making stuff. That way I don't burn off all the matches that I'm carrying. with them in there. Um, a book of 18 matches and a box of 8 is all we need. 8 tinder for walking around making fires is more than enough. And then the second cabinet out from the cooker is where I put the antiseptics. Right, going to carry that um, that's low condition we want to get that used up so if we get attacked we'll use that to fix ourselves up same with the painkillers we'll move all the painkillers across except the lowest condition set we don't need to carry the water making tablets around with us at all because we'll be cooking our water primarily but when we come to change maps and we know that we've got a transition map to get through having water purification tablets does help right so don't know if you guys can see this but first cabinet is our fire making stuff second cabinet is our um, medical stuff the third cabinet will be um, I don't know, something else. Emergency supplies, such as we might move the flares and stuff in there, or I might move the crafting medical stuff, like the reishi mushrooms and 
uh, the rose hips into there once we start finding those. Okay, so there's nothing in that cobble box, right? And it's getting dark. We've lost the day. The first 75 days of your run through, you do, you don't get cabin fever. Um, I think the game devs reckon that you'll end up spending a lot of time indoors. Let's just have a look outside. I want to drop that charcoal. Got a rocking chair there, which is good. There's no um, outside down. store here that there used to be. There used to be an outside store there. Right, well, I'm going to drop that charcoal here. I'll keep one piece on me. Getting to that time of day where we need to go lie down. Let's just check our condition. We've got some calories in us. We are thirsty. Let's have a drink. And head up to bed. And it's nice to have a choice of beds. So we'll try this bed, see if it's comfortable. Um, we're going to need to pass time for a couple of hours. Now we're getting pretty drained. We are getting pretty hungry horse. as well. So we'll get 250 calories. That'll keep us going through the night. Top up the hydration. And let's put in for a good nine hour sleep. And when he wakes up, that's where we'll end this video. And we'll pick it up tomorrow with um, exploring further in the town and stripping all the, the rooms out. We've woken up with daylight. We're hungry, so I'm going to end it there, and we'll pick it up again in the next video. Thanks Die for watching. Don't get some food soon. Don't forget to click follow, and please leave your comments below. Did I miss anything? Make sure you mention it.